made some progress. I got all the wires and the breakers. You know, that grid box is going to be such a blessing because it is just a nightmare to bend two hot wire to all six of these breakers here. <sighs> so today I need to get up there, drill me a hole, and uh, lift this guy off that and slowly lower him back down to the need two people for this but when you don't have two people you got to improvise all done empty 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 so now I've got a clean slate I'm changing my mind about this wall here Let me back up a bit uh, I was gonna put flex boss Grid boss, another flex boss. But that would only leave me with like three inches between each device and the walls. So, the flex boss is, must go here because this is where the grid comes in and, and goes back to the house. So, flex boss is definitely going to go right here. And this is my original configuration when I had 6500 EXs, one here and one here, and the battery racks underneath them. And I think that's the way I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put uh, flex boss here, flex boss here, battery rack, battery rack. And uh, this is all going to disappear underneath here. And uh, I'll put the, the grid boss right in the center here. Got my circuit breaker in today. Uh, post office, I had to go down to the post office because I had to sign for the delivery. But anyhow, it's installed. I looked at the... Uh, bracket there and it's already been corrected so I think it was only the first few that went out that were uh, swapped but uh, this one is in there correct so it's time to put this guy up on the wall I want to point out something here that these brackets that hold the flex boss and the grid boss on you can see that the little stand ups are in exactly the same place but the grid boss is much wider here. So these are not interchangeable, just pointing that out. Tried to line things up, but I'm gonna put the, the screw hold in the center of it so that I can slide it back and forth to me so it matches up with where the, the grid comes in and the, and the grid goes back to the house. So, <clears throat> and I hope that you have patience with me because I like to do things slowly and methodically and I make mistakes and it's like corrective and I like to not just show you something in a box take it out of the box and then show you it installed and working there's a lot of steps that go in between a lot of mistakes are made and I hope to point those out as I go along so that you don't make those same mistakes so with that said let's <coughs> see if I can get this guy just about
at the center. Lift this guy up and put it on that bracket. I've got about 17 inches of slack here so let's see get my magic ruler out here I'm going to eat up seven and a half there another four and a half here Holes at. So it's far, I've already had it up there once, it's just to try it out. And then, uh, so this is the second time it's been up there. So it's going to take three attempts once I get the holes cut for the cables and, and, and wires and stuff. So it's going to come back down now. It's not nearly as strong either. Okay, I'm halfway there. Uh, tomorrow I turn off the power out here, and uh, maybe it'll be sun enough that I can see what I'm doing in here. I got disconnected grid, connected up there, and then I'm going to use the non backup loads to power this building until I get the inverters popped up. Uh, I'm going to pass the grid through here, out to there. Tighten down, put a, one of these nuts on both sides, and screw it down and tighten it up. And that, that kind of holds the bottom in place. It's not going anywhere.